Hello, my name's Fraser from Elementary Technology and today we're in the classroom and we've got ourselves a problem. So it's the start of term, my students are going to be in in around about 10 minutes. I've got my lesson plan all good to go, I've just plugged in my laptop, but I'm not getting any touch. I can't seem to access anything that's on my laptop on the screen. I can see it, I've even got the sound, but there's no touch. This is a really, really common problem that we see quite a lot. We get a lot of calls about it. And luckily it's a really simple fix that you can do in a few minutes. So don't worry about them coming in in about 10 minutes time. We're gonna get this fixed in about two minutes. So let's take a look at my laptop and I'll run you through how you fix it. Cause usually it's one of two cables. You've got your HDMI and your USB. These plug into your laptop. The HDMI, this carries the image and the sound. So I know looking at this straight away, nothing more with the HDMI. So it's gonna be the USB and the USB just carries a touch. So that's the problem we've got. There's some problem with the USB. It's probably just a loose cable. So let me show you how you can sort that out. Okay, so this is going to be even easier than I first thought. The HDMI cable is plugged in and that's why I'm getting the image and I'm getting the sound on the screen. I'm not getting any touch because the USB cable carries the touch. And the USB cable, I've accidentally pulled out at some point. So I'll just pop that back in now. And now we are good to go. Now when I go back to my screen, I should find the touch is working. If it isn't, then just bear in mind that that USB cable has two ends. So where it goes into the faceplate on the wall, as you can see now, it'll also need plugging in there. As you can see, it looks slightly different, but it'll fit into one hole only on the faceplate. You're then good to go. Okay, so we've checked everything and now I'm just gonna check the screen. Yep, the touch is working absolutely fine. So we've solved it all by ourselves. And the great thing about that is we can do it in seconds. We don't need to contact IT or anyone else to help us out. Obviously, if that hasn't worked, you might need to get in touch with IT. But one way to check if it's a problem with the board or a problem with the connections is really simple. If like this screen, you've got onboard abilities. What I mean by that, like this whiteboard here, I can draw on a whiteboard, but I don't need my laptop plugged in. This is the screen working all on its own. So if I draw on here, I can see straight away that the touch on the board is working. So therefore, if the touch on the board is working, it must be a problem between my laptop and the screen. Obviously, if we go to draw on here and nothing happens, then we know it's a problem with the actual screen. So when you're talking to IT, you'll be able to tell them then, yes, there's a problem with the screen, the touch isn't working, or it's something with the cables that's going on. Okay, thanks very much for watching, guys. Take care.